level B. Welcome to week two of virtual learning. I hope that you all um, did your work last week and I look forward to reading your sentences from Thursday. Um, please let me know if you have any questions. Um, I did want to review one thing that maybe we had a little bit of trouble with last week. So, um, right, last week we talked about at, on, and in, right? At, in, and on. And um, there are a few examples where you do not use these words. So, for example, when we say last, next, every, or this, we do not also use at, on, or in. So look at these examples. I went to London last June. We don't say in last June, right? We just say last June. He's coming back next Tuesday, not on next Tuesday. Next replaces the word on. So you do not use on, you do use only next. I go home every Easter, okay? Not at every Easter, every Easter. We will call you this evening, not in this evening, in the evening, no, this evening, all right? And then um, this, okay, in the morning, in the mornings, in the afternoon, in the evenings, okay? And then remember the weird one is that we say at night. All right, so we're gonna be talking this week about adverbs of frequency. So this is how often you're doing something, all right? So the first part of this will be easy. And then the second part might be a little more difficult, but most of this will be a review. Oh, and let me show you something. All right, in your packet, you have some notes. So this first part, we're just gonna go kind of over the words and like what they mean. And then we will talk about the placement next, okay? So while you're watching the PowerPoint, you can like look at these and follow along and take notes, okay? All right, perfect. All right, let's go. Okay. And of course, go. There we go. Yes. Okay. So she says, I read a book every day. So you can see the green is every day. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Okay. Every day. Green, green, green. So you can say this. I read a book every day. Or you could use an adverb of frequency, which would be this. I always read a book. Always. Every day. Green, 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 green. Okay, always. Next, I play the saxophone five times a week. So look, she plays Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. She plays the saxophone five times a week. So you could also say, I usually play the saxophone. One, two, three, four, five. Usually, almost every day. I usually play the saxophone, all right? Usually, usually, it's got that really strong U sound. Okay, I ride my bike twice a week, twice, twice, twice. So if you look, that means this week she rode Thursday and Saturday. The next week she rides Wednesday and Friday, and then Thursday and Saturday. So every week she's riding two times, so instead of saying two times a week, we say twice a week, twice a week. I often, often, so you do say the F and the T sounds, often, often, okay? I often ride my bike, good, all right, next. I play basketball once a week. So instead of saying one time a week, right? Look over here, she only plays basketball on Fridays. We say once a week, once, once, once. 
I sometimes play basketball. Sometimes. So not very often. Sometimes. I go to the cinema, to the theater, the movie theater, once a month. Once a month. So look, only one time. Once. Once a month. I rarely go to the cinema. Rarely. Okay, actually, if you'll look, let's see, so for rarely, if you look at your notes, um, rarely, hardly ever, and seldom are all kind of the same. They have the same meaning. Seldom is a little strange. We don't use it. We don't usually use seldom. So I would say rarely or hardly ever are more common. Rarely or hardly ever. Okay. Okay. I don't drink alcohol. So look at the calendar. There's no days, no days where this person drinks alcohol. So I don't drink alcohol. I never drink alcohol. All right. I never drink alcohol. So let's. Remember, always is 100%. Usually is like 75%. Often is like 60%. Sometimes is like 30 or 40%. Rarely is like 10 and never is zero, okay? Always, usually, often, sometimes, rarely, and never. So once is one time, twice is two times, and then three times, four times, five times, all right? Once is one time, twice is two times. Once, twice, three times, four times, five times. Okay, we're gonna do that in a second. Okay, all right, so you got that part. Yes, those words, let's go over it. Okay, always, usually, usually, often, 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 sometimes, sometimes, hardly ever, hardly ever, rarely, I don't like that one. I don't like R sounds. Rarely. Seldom. This is the one we don't say very often. We don't say seldom very often. We seldom say seldom. <laughs> okay. Um, and then whoop, never. Never. Okay. So now we're going to talk about placement. Where do these go in the sentence? Okay. So when you have a to be verb, like, I am, you are, he, she, it is, okay? When you have a to be verb, the, the adverb always goes after, okay? So, I am always tired. I am always tired. He is never late. He is never late. So if it's the verb to be, I am, you are, he is, that's it, we are, then the adverb of frequency is going to go after the to be, okay? So even if you're doing like, let's say, present continuous, right, where what are you doing right now? I am always listening to my teacher. I am always listening, right? I am listening to my teacher right now. You can also say, I am always listening to my teacher, okay? And if it's in the past, let's say, he, he was, 
That's past. So it doesn't matter if it's present, past, future. If you're using the verb to be, the adverb of frequency is going to come after. Okay? All right. Let's do the next thing. All right. So if the verb is to be, the adverb of frequency goes after, right? Now, if the verb is not to be, if it's a different one, let's say I walk to school. Okay? I walk. So now our verb is not to be, our verb is to walk, right? So now the adverb of frequency is going to go in front. So you can say, I never walk to school. I never walk to school. Okay? Or I always walk to school. It goes in front. So if the verb is to be, it goes after. If the verb is a regular verb, it goes in front. That's pretty easy, right? Okay, let's talk about negatives. Woo! Our favorite. Okay. So, if it's a negative adverb of frequency, like rarely, seldom, never, the things that are close to like 0% that you don't do, okay, then the verb that you use is going to be a positive verb, okay? So, here's an example. I never eat meat, okay? I never eat meat. Now, Sometimes, like I know in Spanish, we can have what you call a double negative, a double negative, right? In Spanish, we can have a double negative, which would mean you could say this, I don't never eat meat, right? So I don't never eat meat. So this is negative. And don't, right? This has a not, do not. So that's negative. So we have two negatives. In English, you can't, no. You cannot have two negatives in English. All right? You cannot have two negatives in English. So this is not correct. No double negatives. So here, because never is a negative, the verb has to be positive. Okay? I never eat meat. Okay, if you want to use a negative verb, so like I don't eat, don't eat. It's kind of hard to see. Okay, can you see that word? I don't know. All right, I'll write it bigger. Okay, so this word right here is E-V-E-R. So ever is kind of like the word never, kind of. But it's not negative. And we don't, in English, it doesn't count as a negative word. So I don't ever eat meat. That's a good sentence. I don't ever eat meat. And they mean the same thing. So they mean both of these sentences mean the same, the same thing. English. It's stupid. Okay, so let's see. If we say, as an example, let's do this. Um, I rarely, no, I don't speak, I don't often speak English. Let's do that. Okay. I don't often speak English. That means like maybe once or twice a week, right? I don't often speak English. So if I want to use rarely instead, what would my verb be? I don't often speak English. If I use rarely, which is a negative adverb, right? It's not very often. Then what's our verb going to be? Are we going to say I rarely don't speak? No. Because don't makes it negative. So then we'd have negative, negative. No, we can't do that. So I rarely speak English. Okay? 
So I don't often speak English and I rarely speak English. They have the same meaning. They have the same meaning. It means you don't, maybe you practice English once or twice a week. Okay, that's not you. It's other people, right? Okay, let's see what else do we got. What else do we have? All right, look at your notes. I'm on the second page. I'm not going to worry about questions right now because I think it's almost too difficult to do virtually. But if you want to do questions, we can do them on Thursday. Just let me know. Um, okay, look at on the back of your notes. Look at rule number three. So the word sometimes can go in all three places, in front of a sentence, in the middle of a sentence, at the end of a sentence. Sometimes we practice together. We sometimes practice together. We practice together sometimes. But we can go at the very beginning of the sentence, before the verb, like regular verb, with all the other ones, right? Or it can go at the very end of the sentence. So not we practice sometimes together, no. We practice together sometimes, okay? So that's sometimes, and then, let's see. All right, we usually are. So you can see the mistake that the learner made. So we usually are. No, are is a QP verb. You need to say we are usually in the first people to arrive. So, and then it explains, I love this, it explains what's over here, so why it's wrong. It takes usually, no, take is the verb, so usually needs to go in front, right? It usually takes me only 10 minutes to make a good tuna sandwich. 10 minutes? Make a tuna sandwich? Sounds weird. Like a long time. You just open a can of tuna. Weird. Okay. The price of gas never has been. Oh, we didn't talk about this one. Don't worry about that. Most of you don't even know that tense yet. Okay, so I, oh look, so they did. I don't, never, mm -mm, mm -mm, can't do don't and never together because that's a double negative. So I never text while driving. I see you don't text while you're driving. Me too. All right, so double negatives are not supposed to be. Cool. All right, so today, on Monday, we've got adverbs of frequency. Monday's always easy, right? Hopefully. Um, let's see, this one is also Monday. Ooh, so look, you have to say, I like this one. So I'm late for school in the morning, so where do you put rarely? Oh, you're gonna have to think about it. What's the verb? Is it to be or a regular one? I like it. Okay, so I will send you the answers to these later. And then, yeah, this is tomorrow. Um, on Tuesday, we're going to have a question Zoom. So if you, like, I don't know, let's say you're looking at this one and you're like, I don't understand this. You can um, be just five minutes. Like, get on the Zoom and say, Miss Beth, I don't understand this one. And then I can help you and then you can get off. So you don't have to be on the Zoom for 30 minutes. It's just if you have questions about something. Okay, um, and you can always text me. I want to hear from you, and good luck.